Hmm. Friday the 12th at Papa Ron's. We've just had a, a hawk visit while I was here. I put some grit down in the ground, which was probably stupid, but the crows gave us the message. But this lot are fucking petrified. <whistles> and the whites have got the top of the Christmas tree. Yeah, they're coming in at speed. Come on, Bob's, come on. <whistles> come on, Ed, come on. <whistles> well, maybe we get them in and keep them in like we did down the road. There was a bit of a scatter. We know what they're... Let's just say they're quite skilled. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Friday night in the shit shed. Pump of the volume, pump of the jam. We've got a Friday off. I'm only off because I finished early today and I'm night shift tomorrow, so... Woody woo! We'll do tunes and raga. All tributes to Radio 1 Dance, and I think we have got Danny Howard just now. Charlie Hedges. She'll be coming later. So, what are we showing you tonight? I think tonight we're going to open up the lamb bank. And let the little tufties come out because. Oh, there's two little coochie coon on my feet. Uh, you can get to see the Old Man River chicks, aka the cast couple from um, Marjorie Doors. So the salt junkies haven't had a feed on the rock for a couple of days, so they're fairly avid. So the trick is just to come in and chill down. I don't know the rest of you, are you all skinned? I'm absolutely fucking brassic. January is always a long month, but fuck me. Don't you worry though, we'll make it to Blackpool. <laughs> Marge gets new wages before Blackpool, so that's always good. Turn up the tunes for a minute until we just do a toast. Round one. First for a week. Woody woo. No, I'm away my bed. Naughty, naughty. I've ordered in some new Jamaican molasses for our trip to Blackpool. If any of you loyal beings want to have a try the Jamaican molasses, hit me up at Blackpool. I'm not sure we can do something. We can sit in the Central Central Pier bar at three in the afternoon and bongo on fucking Jamaican molasses. That'd be uber funny. Can I get you anything? Uh, can you get me a fucking whitey? Silly, Mr. Jibbles. Yeah. Not a squawky feeding going on around here. Probably a bit more to fit in the lamb bank. But. Oh, I think there's a box 24 over there. We might, we might try and capture that little bullet. Well, there's nothing else, eh? But I have been and got some more. My babies want some grits. I'll give them a great cup before I get their tea. Start the evening off with the uh, Booyaka Shah! Oh, 
got to be careful with this phone because it starts cutting me off because it's like, oh, watch your ears, watch your ears, you're listening too loud. Little beauties. Well done, old man River. Oh, first time Papi's handled them. Look at them little brothers and sisters pumping up their volume in their jam. Oh, we thought you were only going to make it for a while. Mommy, you shit. That was, oh, that was a big shit. A very healthy baby shit, actually. Oh, God. I have to go and dust myself down. Goodness, I'll put you back. He went, hey, I told you I'm shitting him first. <laughs> I got Papi first. Is that Charlie? Towards the end of the year, playing at the Tom in Wakefield. My goodness. To I'm going to have to wash the big man dress before Blackpool. Like Honest to God, I won't be um, covered in pigeon vermin feces when we go to Blackpool. I thought I might do a treasure trail of laying out cans of tenants for people to find and then send the picture back to me. <laughs> right, so. Let's down, let's put some food down. Listen to the tunes more. Oh, look what I've found. Oh, it look better from this side. Look at that. The big daddy inbred pair. Looking like they're coming through grizzles. Got it in her, got it. 549550, crossbred and breads. Beautiful. Oh, it's drafty, Dallas. Mm -hmm. Let's get you back to bed. I buy up a Papa Ron today, which was nice. I was there. Look up the definition of petrified in the Oxford Concise Dictionary. Petrified means frozen to the spot. We're on Danny Howard, we're on DC Tennis, all the grooves, and I was like, what on earth is These birds were frozen to the spot. Singing it at the top of Gauze the voices. Goshawk, apparently. Flip Dean, get hard, you in the lobby, got into Jamie Jones and Carlo. Didn't score, which is always nice. I was there, which helped. So now they're locked up. These lot here have been locked up for three fucking days because of the cold coming in and out east. Let them out today. I'm sure they got a visit as well. Old man Rivers through there, strutting his stuff, getting his bit of ice like.
We got wieners. We got wieners. This be hen. Definitely hen. Look at this little Trojan. This daddy is definitely not a fan tail. The visit is the Trojans is dead on. Good win and we'll do them tomorrow. Or do her. Who's your mummy and daddy? This has been the clock clock since day one. Do I leave my squads with shitty nails? And you oh she's got a shitty ring. 5052. What a lovely little buddy. Oh, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to be your bag, Darren. You've got to get used to Daddy Pup handling it. So get this. What are we now over the weekend? Hello. Fine, fine, baby. I need dance party Friday night with Ariel Free. Looking after things this evening for Danny Howard. He is back on British soil, I believe. Oh, over here with you next yes, week. None of more right now. Playing this one for Kev the trucker on the way home driving north to spend the weekend with family. The Pelicans are on board. Mr. Frontail is a great daddy. You, Scotty. Definitely not his. It is your dance party on your Friday evening. And really, thank you for joining us tonight. Here really warm. We are very much with the family and that includes you. Hopefully we can be there for you in times when you need it and you are always there for us. And today, sadly, we lost one of the longest standing members of the Really One family, Miss Annie Nightingale, CBE. Annie was the first ever female okay, broadcaster. Okay, Papa's got everyone. you. She went on to be the longest running presenter here. Yes. She was a trailblazer whose passion to champion and the machine. sounds, artists, DJs never wavered. She was so ahead of the curve with discovering the, the next... Hopefully the Holty Emertons are still in the nest. Cock and hen fighting in the food bin. I'm going to see how the Holty Emerton tribe are doing. Box and that's Evan Hall, Evan Hall, Evan Hall, pumpkin, back to his mother. Six day olds. Bullets! They can fly for fun. I have a just fought pumpkin. Pumpkin molt now. This is one of my dilemmas, I'll pause and start this again. This is definitely one for the comics. What is the entire molting time for a pigeon? So imagine I let a hen have six weeks to rear a chick, and then another six weeks to rear another chick, and then let her molt. How long would that period of time take? That would be a very good answer from there. Basically because I would like to know if I let my race birds, i.e. one, two, one, five, if I let her have two rounds, two eggs, two chicks, two rounds, if I let her have the two rounds and then put her on to cheese, would she mull right through in time to join in at 200, 300 miles before we go to the channel? Please. Put that on Facebook as well, just for that comment there as well. Look at all these little beautiful babies. 
Right, kids, here's the pep talk. Maybe there'll be other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty, one, twenty, two, I think. Here's a gig, kids. You can see where you are. Or I will, uh, I don't know where you are, see where you are. I'll leave the door open. You look like you're tufted through. You lot can move on. And then we'll start with the next six, okay? That's the one, that's the red with the wonky feathers. Right, here, yeah, I'm gonna back off. I'm gonna leave this door, attach that door, so you can just walk out, okay? So I'll just, I'll film you from the door. If you wanna walk through the door to the big section, I'll just film you there, okay? Awesome. That's something they might build into something. They might come out, they might not, but. Time to go out to make space in the land back. I've left the doors joined together so that if they come out, I'll get to see them right there. Try and catch what I think might be one of Her Majesty's debuts. So let's keep it So, it came out of my brain, so it's not planned, it's not premeditated, it's not nasty. But my words were going to say, look at, <laughs> look at this. Black as party shovel. I didn't read that. Oh, did I? Got it, got it, got it. Look at the fucking nick of that. Let's just do the whole fucking promo. Oof. You know, Poppy likes a bit of ping. Look at that. Oh, we like you. Look at the size of that. <laughs> Five oh four seven. Like that. Five oh four seven. To be trained this year with my young bells and flow next year, and we're going for Barcelona. Well, that was a treat. That was a treat. I was going to show off and say, little 1122 one, just lets me do what I like, but clearly it doesn't. And I'm the knob end, I mean, not five minutes ago, they said, look, the door open and we'll see them coming through. And now I'm getting all animated because I'm spotting new birds in the fucking shed. <laughs> oh, what are they armed? These are all just going out the land bank. That's what's just fucking happened. Hello, I was going to say, who the fuck are you? I don't recognise you either, but look, they're coming out of the land bank. Oh, daddy's babies. Oh, I wonder who bred you. <laughs> I think I've only got one breeding red check on my shirt. Oh, I'll go back to your bed, I'll go back to your bed, sorry. Heavenly. I was just having a multi moment there, fueled by the molasses. So the six birds through the bar with six chicks. Well, the one of the five of the birds would be eligible to fly, which would be pumpkin. 
However, when Pumpkin was born, I put an out-of-date ring in him very deliberately, so I couldn't fly in the first year. And I think Pumpkin was the blood I was trying to keep from Jim Emmer, who bred Pumpkin, but then died while Pumpkin was getting reared. So I think Pumpkin's second round is so that he can't fly. He can't fly. He'll definitely not be able to fly. <laughs> So just you breed chicks, pumpkin. I think we just keep them and the blood on that particular bird. That's the only bird I've got with that particular bird of Emma today, isn't it? You get me? Oh, they're coming through the drawers now. <laughs> the babies is on parade. Oh, young Millie. Oh man, this just blows my tits off this. <laughs> the big boy shit suddenly polluted with fucking 24 squabs going, uh, which way is the toilet? <laughs> Can you tell me where the water is, please? I turn left off the end of the pier. This tastes like. Who are you? <laughs> oh, I have to spin you around and let you see them. Oh dear. Pampers on parade. Hello, oh, what's this you're eating? Grab them. Look at that colouring in that. That's baby bear. That is baby bear. I don't need to tell you that baby mealy. Baby Rapido. Baby, what the fuck am I doing here? Uh, that came in from Lindsay. Thank you very much. And baby, you gave me too much creatine, Dad. It does appear to be... Oh, I told you, see, if that thing... I told you, you to go, if that thing grows fucking feathers, it's going to be like a hawk. <laughs> and that's a baby bear. You're actually filling your throat, kid. You thought you were done for. That's going to have, like, a six-foot wingspan. <laughs> Where are you going, Harry Mizzle? Go and get some salt. Yeah, everybody else is. They're all in there eating salt. Maybe we'll join the party. Well, there's going to be a lot of pissed off fucking old boys tonight. <laughs> Of the chest tonight till they fucking <laughs> find their niche. Yeah, oh, this is in the car crash country. Pause. Madre! Boosh! Don't ever forget your bottle of coon. Leave your wife in the supermarket before you leave your coon in the kitchen. Uh, has the sound changed? Nice I'm going green. So now this should take up some of the schmumbles. But that's the problem. When you start trying to run too many pieces of wireless kit, the internet can't keep up. So what I've now done is try to do Bluetooth, Bluetooth from big phone to the jukebox and I'm trying to Bluetooth that from there to there and on top of that we're using the Wi-Fi for that yeah that's why it doesn't work 
if I played mm, I filmed on that I mic'd up that that would work no no because I'm still no I'm still bluetooth you see doesn't work try again Sony aerodynamic person in the world It's a beautiful thing. Find the name wings. Beautiful thing, finding those wings. It's a beautiful thing, finding those wings. Twenty twenty four. Oh, there's a whitey over there. Let's <laughs> jump in there. Fucking things are everywhere. Beautiful. Anyway, I'm getting all sloppy. Babies are loving it. <laughs> there's a right good wonder around. I'll go and see how many are left in the bank. After this one's observed, he's there uh, right away on the Pelican Crossing. I know you can flap them when you, you let go of the ground. It's mental. When you flap them fast in the right direction, you can change direction when you're in the air. It's incredible. the other ones do it and I'll show you. Unfortunately for the first few weeks, well the first few flights he'll go, oh fuck where's the brakes? <laughs> where's my fucking brakes? Four. Four! boy. Ken's a good boy. Don't mind if the neighbour takes my wife. Don't take my kid. Beautiful, perfect. Right now, we're going to look in the land bank. He's left. Seven didn't come out, they're all hunkered up nice, and there's only two hens going in, so they'll not wind them up, so there you go, 24 to 7, it's a lot of money, <laughs> it's 17 birds out. Back in. 
Somebody's the ice heading in the uh, heading in the basket. We're in the basket. It's a bit tano tano. That's a few minutes or so. Nice to see he's back. Friday night in the shit shed. <laughs> 